Good morning. I'm Paige Detman, Sarasota County Executive Director of Middle Schools. We all are here today at the first symposium about the Patterson Foundation Legacy Initiative with the school board regarding cultural connections with students. It's my pleasure to welcome you here today and to thank you for taking time out of your busy schedules to attend this important first symposium. You represent executive directors, directors, and staff of area organizations, cultural organizations, who provide experiences and opportunities for the youth in our county during the day, before and after school, and during the summers. This symposium and the committee appreciate so much your willingness to partnership with us to create new opportunities for our youth. My role this morning is to preview our goals for today as well as today's agenda. Today is about creating connections, connect connecting Sarasota County educators with our community organizations in the arts, history, science, and environmental science. Today is also about examining possibilities for new organizational collaborations between the school district and our cultural organizations. We value your involvement with us, and we thank you so much for the many experiences you provide for our students. Here today are 26 arts organizations and 10 history and science organizations that currently partner with the school board to provide experiences for students during the day. And oh my gosh, what experiences you provide for our kids. It's so hard for me to pick some out, but I do want to just share a few that I'm really um, fond of. Um, Brian at the Oslo develops plays um, targeted with um, particular students, worked with the curriculum department, and even goes so far as to write a play that helps a particular group of students learn more about themselves. And speaking of writing a play, Florida Studio Theater works with our students in our literacy initiative to help students learn to write better and to make it a relevant learning experience because those plays are actually acted out. Historic Spanish Point has been involved with teachers over the summer, I believe, with our Teaching American History grant and also provides a place for students to conduct archaeological um, examinations and uh, many other historical aspects. The Perlman Music Program, kind of dear to my heart, um, that Suncoast Outreach Program, has been so beneficial for our middle school students in seeing young professionals play their, in, their orchestra instruments. I actually saw at my former school where I was principal at Sarasota Middle, the students were so thrilled to watch those young professionals play and so awed about their performance that more students joined the orchestra as a result of seeing the students perform. Um, Ringling also is so inspiring, especially to our creative writing students with the visual arts, with the history. Um, Yay Arts, I'm learning more about as my principals are talking about the opportunities. The current opportunity is when our teachers go to um, a workshop regarding the Diary of Anne Frank, their kids get free tickets to go to the ballet and to see that um, wonderful play, uh, wonderful um, a ballet. Um, Moat Marine, I know they're having an event tomorrow evening that's opening new information about the health of our Gulf. Gee Whiz has asked us to share with them in providing science activities and experiences, hands-on inquiry-based lessons that they have developed for our students before school, which we could use during the day too. I could go on and on talking about the wonderful activities and experiences all of you provide for our youth. I just don't have time, but I do want to thank you for all of these things you're currently doing for our students. The focus of today's outcomes will be to share information and to learn from and with one another how we can best collaborate to purposefully engage students in community experiential activities relating to our curriculum. One goal is about our core curriculum. We want to share with you our curriculum expectations to foster your, your understanding of the new requirements we have with our next generation Sunshine State standards in the core academic areas of language arts, math, science, and social studies. We also want to explain curriculum expectations for students in the arts, 
and in our career and technical ed education elective classes. Another goal is for school personnel to share ideas with you about how students can benefit from the design of new activities in arts, history, and science that are community-based, that are experiential, and that could be integrated directly within our curriculum. Our new curriculum requires hands-on interactive learning activities in order for students to learn and to master. Our Sarasota County educators have a goal of increasing student participation in these relevant experiential community programs because we know that involvement in the arts, involvement in history and science, promotes our students' good decision-making skills, helps them think creatively, and definitely enhances their critical thinking. We also have time today in the agenda devoted to discussion of how community organizations can partner together and collaborate with one another on new initiatives aligned with our new curriculum. And of course, our goal always is for our community youth to develop lifelong enjoyment from, appreciation of, and engagement with our community cultural organizations. These goals for today's symposium are just the first step in developing sustainable programs and practices that are aligned with our new next generation standards. Experiences that are interactive and engaging for students. Our instructional lesson plans are increasingly focused on inquiry-based instruction, where our teachers define the concept that the kids are going to learn on a particular day. They model their thinking, their background knowledge, their connections that they make with that concept, and then involve students, teams of students, in project-based tasks to learn and develop so that kids can work together to alleviate misperceptions and to become really competent in that new concept or skill they're learning. Throughout today's agenda, people will be discussing the design, development, and implementation of cultural connections to the curriculum. Logically, that means that we need to begin by sharing with you what that new curriculum is. Our wonderful curriculum department program specialists are here today, sprinkled throughout the room this morning, and they will be sharing with you those new Sunshine State standards. We currently are implementing the new standards in language arts and math. We're implementing new standards in sixth and seventh grade science, and next year we'll begin the new curriculum in eighth grade science. And our new social studies standards begin in a couple of years, giving us an opportunity to prepare. The standards are fairly um, different for our teachers and students in math, science, and social studies. And we are doing a lot of training of our teachers so that they understand the new depth that the standards promote. We've had curriculum in the past that spiraled. Our language arts curriculum still does continue to spiral, meaning that the kids see similar concepts in um, successive grade levels. But an example in our math and our science now, the standards are very deep. Instead of a lot of standards that we teach at a surface level, we're teaching fewer standards to a level that is greater depth. And the students will not see those standards again, so they need to master them when we do teach the curriculum. So our, our program specialists will share with you those standards. They'll also talk with you about a new initiative from the state which is the development of instructional focus calendars. What those instructional focus calendars do for our teachers is sequence the standards and pace the standards. It's really wonderful for our teachers because now those teachers of a, of a same course, for example, sixth grade science, seventh grade math, eighth grade language arts, they're teaching the same concepts at the same time. It enables them to collaborate on the design of their lessons, to collaborate on the student experiences, and to study student work to figure out how they can best help kids learn. It also is great for our cultural connections because we know that all of our seventh graders in science in the county are pretty much working on the same concepts at the same time, allowing that connection to be more focused. Additionally today, you'll hear from our school board technology department and they have a surprise in store for you with a demonstration of a brand new communication tool it, and it's, it is exciting. 
Today at lunch, you're going to hear from Dr. Lori Stryker, our Patterson Foundation Initiative Manager, who's going to represent Patterson Foundation, talking about a lot of the work that has already taken place, some of the great information that has been attained from surveys, as well as about developing this initiative fully over the three-year period. And then Superintendent Lori White will be here. And during her talk with you, she will put practical application to some of the ideas I've mentioned in the goals today. She's going to share some novel ways that our community organizations, our community par partners, can truly make a difference in connecting with and integrating with the curriculum that our students must learn with experiential activities. Today, we'll also have entertainment. It's always a delight to hear from Florida Studio Theater and they will be with you twice today. And the last event of the day is the panel discussion that brings together Sarasota County teachers and members of our organizations represented in the room today who are going to be talking about ways to uncover new possibilities for connecting kids with our new curriculum. I feel really fortunate to be a part of this community and the strong commitment that all of you bring to our schools. The Patterson Foundation research discovered that over 200,000 annual student experiences were provided by your, org your organizations every year, 2007, 2008, 2009. Isn't that just outstanding? Over 200,000 experiences, and we thank you for that. We truly value you, and we appreciate so much your support of our students, our teachers, and our administrators. I personally look forward to the future connections that we will make to augment all the wonderful opportunities that our students currently experience. With your dedication that you have already shown to us, your commitment, and of course your creativity, I know that we'll be developing new realities, the Patterson Foundation term, which I love, new realities of how we do business and these new realities will be so beneficial for our students. And I think will be a look into the future for other counties in Florida and other states to adopt.